Welcome back. Yesterday, the House of Representatives on Capitol Hill continued a tradition started just two years ago with lawmakers reading the Constitution aloud on the House floor for only the second time in American history. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, to provide and maintain a Navy, to make rules for the government and regulation of the land and naval forces. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press. Virginia Congressman Bob Goulart, uh, led the Goodlot led the effort and joins us live from Washington. Good morning to you, Congressman. Good morning, Steve. Well, it would seem to me that this would, it, it, it has amazed me, it's only the second time in American history that uh, you guys have done this, because it would seem like if you, as you kick off a new session of Congress, it's essentially the owner's manual, how the country works. Well, it absolutely is. And, uh, you know, leading up to the 2010 elections, there was a lot of debate about how our government, the executive branch, legislative branch, even the courts, uh, we're not uh, abiding by the U.S. Constitution, so I suggested to our leadership uh, that we read the Constitution at the beginning of that Congress, and then I asked my staff to research when's the last time it was done. Sure. Turns out uh, 1800 and never, and that really was a stunner <laughs> for me, too. So we put it in the rules, and now at the beginning of each Congress we're going to read it, and even more importantly, I think we put in the rules uh, last time, and we strengthened this time, the requirement that when you introduce a bill in the House of Representatives, you've got to cite the section of the Constitution that gives you authority uh, to pass that law. People That's forget great. that this is the foundation of our democracy. Sure. Our and, and this was something Republican. bipartisan. There were Democrats joining Republicans. They wanted to read this. I know that uh, Democrat from Georgia, uh, John Lewis, uh, read the 14th, or rather the 13th Amendment, which uh, abolished slavery. There was applause from fellow House members afterwards. And then the list went on and on. In fact, you ran out of Constitution before you ran out of members who wanted to read it. What, what, are the, what to you, Congressman, strikes you as one of the things we forget about what the Constitution mandates. Well, I think, first of all, we forget that it is the foundation of our law. People sort of, uh, they'll contact uh, members of Congress and say, well, you ought to pass a law about this, you ought to pass a law about that. Uh, and you know what? Uh, a lot of times that they have great ideas. But the first thing we need to do is to look at whether this is something that the federal government, with its limited powers granted by the Constitution, should be acting upon. Uh, if not, then they can go to their state legislators, sure. maybe their local government. So that's uh, certainly, in my opinion, the most important important thing for people to remember about our Constitution. It provides for our government, a limited government designed to protect our freedoms, to protect our individual liberties. Well, it was uh, very impressive and a real primer for people who were unfamiliar. You know, we see the Constitution. It doesn't seem like anybody ever reads it themselves. So it was nice that you guys and gals uh, read it aloud yesterday. Congressman, thank you very much for joining us today from our nation's capital. Thank you, Steve. All right. Very nicely done. All right. Uh, 20 minutes.